Bye, Al. Yeah, please wait. Yeah, now it's started. Yeah, tell me, everyone, what is meant by document splitting? Document splitting, Bolito. Anyone? Posting the documents uh, according to the uh, assign the assignment to the profit center and segment for the in internal reporting, like mm -hmm. from which profit center it's debit and which profit center it's credit. Okay. Okay. Any others? Document plus splitting. Document plus splitting. Everyone. Uh, at least uh, you people can tell me what is meant by document just document document bolito accounting very good what is meant by document okay Large list of data sir as per the finance perspective see document means different different definitions for the different different models as according to the fi according to the finance document means accounting entry posting that's it document entry po uh, posting means accounting entry posting document means accounting entry as per the fi finance as per the finance okay and different different models have different different anyway document entry posting means accounting entry posting document means accounting entry <coughs> everyone concentrated everyone every document document means accounting entry document posting means accounting entry posting please keep it on your mind sometimes i can call it as a document entry posting sometimes i can call it as a accounting entry posting both are same everyone concentrated everyone every document document means accounting entry post every document classified into two parts concentrated everyone every document example vendor invoice posting customer invoice posting vendor payment posting customer payment posting gl invoice posting gl payment posting bank related accounting entries asset related accounting entries for all accounting entries divided into two parts Anyone tell me what is that? Debit and credit. No. One is header. header data and one is line item data. Divided into two parts. Debit and credit comes under line item data. Both are comes under line item data. As per the SAP I am discussing. As per the SAP I am discussing every accounting entry divided into two i mean two uh, parts two parts or uh, uh, two ways whatever whatever you want so that is called one is header data and one is line item data then what is meant by header data and what is meant by line item data example example let it be uh, let's go to exa example. I'm showing example. I will show uh, later. I will explain how it is. Go to FB50. Uh, example go to FB50. And everyone concentrate here. Whatever information you are entering this area, example document date, posting date, reference, uh, text, uh, whatever information you are entering into this area, this is called header data. And whatever information you are entering here, example debit and credit, debit and credit. So whatever information you are entering here, this is called line item data. This is called line item data. Everyone, concentrated everyone. Document splitting means to split the line item, to split the line item. To split, splitting means dividing, to split the line item based on the client requirement for reporting purpose. Why, what purpose we want to split? 
why why we need to split for the reporting purpose for the reporting purpose document splitting means to split the line item where is the line item where is the line item line item is one part of accounting entry accounting entry divided into two parts one is header data and one is line item data one is header data and one is line item data document plus splitting 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 bole to classifying to split the line item to split the line item everyone concentrate everyone <coughs> let it be example here i am showing example one second even in the excel i entered something here everyone now try to understand try to understand this we entered some draw here you can uh, try to understand here everyone try to understand here document means accounting entry posting so document divided into two parts one is header data and one is line item data one is line item data to split the line item to split the line item to split the line item is called to split the line item is called document splitting so how it can be splitting how it can be splitting how what happened what is the classic gl accounting entry what is the new gl accounting entry what is the classic gl accounting entry what is the new gl accounting entry classic gl means before new gl concepts how the accounting entry will going to generate it after introducing the new gl concepts how the accounting entry will going to generate how the accounting entry will going to generate how it can be generated everyone <coughs> everyone concentrate everyone concentrate everyone example example everyone in the classic gl before document splitting before new gl concepts example accounting entry will generated like this example commission paid account data to cash commission paid account data to cash example amount equal to amount gl debit and gl credit so accounting entry will generated like this when the new gl concepts means uh in the document splitting how the accounting entry will generate how the accounting entry will going to generate it example let's see everyone concentrate here everyone let's see <coughs> everyone concentrate here here how the accounting entry will generate it hare krishna how the accounting entry will generate it see everyone in the new gl concept of in the new gl concepts if you introduce the new gl concept how the accounting entry will generated commission paid account data to cash example this is amount equal to amount business area equal to business area profit center equal to profit center segment equal to segment so accounting entry will generated like this accounting entry generated like this so why 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 like this why means example this commission paid belongs to which business area this commission paid belongs to which profit center this commission paid is belongs to which segment for each and every it means you are able to generate the reports business area wise you are able to generate the reports at profit center wise you are able to generate the reports at segment wise the blah 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 x y z blah 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 x y z very simple everyone very simple document splitting means to split the line item be for what purpose you are splitting 
based on the client requirement for what purpose reporting purpose reporting purpose so during the accounting entry posting if you specified business area profit center and segment what happen in the later you can generate the reports business area wise profit center wise and segment wise okay so better uh, my suggestion is you can note it down this for for clarification purpose document divided into header data and line item data document splitting means to split the line item is called document splitting please note it down everyone Please note it down, everyone. You can draw like this. done noted everyone yes sir and uh, you can note it on this also Done. Yes, no, okay, done. No, sir. Two minutes, sir. Yeah, please, please note it. I will get one question here. Guys, note it down fast, huh? Done, sir. Done, huh? Note it down, everyone. Types of document splittings. 
types of document splittings types of document splittings note it down active splitting passive splitting active splitting passive splitting zero balance splitting active splitting passive splitting passive passive splitting zero balance splitting zero balance splitting everyone concentrated everyone everyone let it be let's listen the class listen everyone concentrated everyone and uh, what is mean by active splitting what is mean by passive splitting what is mean by zero balance splitting during the accounting entry postings i will show you accounting entries how the accounting entry will split based on the active splitting how the accounting entry will split based on the passive splitting how the accounting entry split based on the zero balance splitting so now you people want to understand what is mean by that for that purpose what configuration is required okay during the accounting entry posting i will show you how the accounting each and everything we are going to test each and everything we are going to test okay so everyone what is meant by active splitting means what is meant by active splitting means based on the standard configuration based on the standard configuration the line item will going to split business area wise profit center wise and segment wise so this is called parameters what we are called this this is called parameters we are called as a parameters business area one parameter profit center one parameter segment one parameter why the accounting entry will going to split like this based on the standard configuration based on the standard configuration for the for that it will going to split for that this will going to split and what is mean by passive splitting what is mean by passive splitting passive splitting means everyone concentrate here everyone example exa example i am telling first we will post invoice maybe customer invoice vendor invoice and whatever whatever invoice first we will post invoice against of this invoice we will post the payment against of invoice we will post the payment concentrate here everyone during the invoice posting during the invoice posting we will specify the parameters this invoice belongs to which business area which profit center which segment we will we will specify that accounting entry will go invoice accounting entry will split based on the standard configuration business area wise profit center wise and segment wise now passive splitting means everyone concentrate here passive splitting means against of this invoice we are going to post the payment during the payment accounting entry posting during the payment accounting entry posting you are not required to specify the parameters all the parameters will update automatically passive splitting means during the payment accounting entry postings all the parameters parameters means business area profit center segment will reflected automatically 
is reflected automatically. It's called passive splitting. Active splitting means active splitting means the accounting based on the standard configuration accounting entry will going to split business area wise profit center wise and segment wise the accounting entry will generate it like this passive splitting means during the payment accounting entry posting you are not required to specify any parameters business area profit center and segment all the parameters will update automatically i will show you during the accounting entry posting i will show you how it can be reflected automatically okay i will test i will we will test and i will show you it's called passive splitting then what is meant by zero balance splitting what is meant by zero balance splitting everyone concentrate here everyone let's try to understand here let's try to understand here example example when the debit parameter when the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameter maybe business area maybe profit center maybe segment anything maybe business area maybe profit center maybe segment anything when the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameters that time zero balance clearing account will be involved zero balance clearing account will be involved so let it be everyone in the i want to post commission paid account data to cash so this expenses expenses is belongs to hyderabad business area in the hyderabad business area due to some xyz reason insufficient fund so what they will do they can take the cash from the mumbai business area then they they will spend expenses so what you need to understand same company code but uh, commission paid expenses is different business area cash is different business area so what i meant here debit parameter is not equal to credit parameter debit parameter is not equal to credit parameters that time how the accounting entry will generate it automatically zero balance clearing account will be involved automatically zero balance clearing account is involved automatically how the accounting entry commission paid account data to zero balance clearing account zero balance clearing account data to cash so zero balance clearing account is credit here zero balance clearing account is debit here so this credit and debit going to nullified final accounting entry is called commission paid account data to cash i will show you during the accounting entry posting how it can be reflected automatically we will test it note it down everyone put the heading of passive splitting put the heading of passive splitting put the heading of passive splitting based on the standard configuration based on the standard configuration based on the standard configuration line item will going to split line item will going to split business area wise profit center wise and segment wise business area wise profit center wise and segment wise this is active splitting no sir sorry sir this is active splitting no because uh, you asked us uh, to i am i am saying active splitting what you noted 
you said passive splitting oh right? sorry sorry it's my bad i am saying active splitting everyone sorry please correct it i i am explaining you are noting active splitting i said passive splitting ah huh? yeah no 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 everyone it's a active splitting yeah heading is heading is active splitting and note it down active splitting bole to active splitting bole to now i am telling active splitting not for the passive splitting if i tell passive it's my bad now i am telling active splitting please note it down the notes active splitting means to split the line item business area wise profit center wise and segment wise based on the standard configuration based on the standard configuration Uh, example you can note it down this this accounting entry example you can note it down this let's see my screen and note it down guys i am telling active splitting active splitting just for your understanding purpose this is the note based on the whatever standard my intention is based on the standard configuration the line item will going to split business area wise profit center wise and segment wise example can you please note it down this accounting entry done noted yes sir. the next one and uh, uh, put the heading of passive splitting now it's a passive splitting passive splitting means passive splitting means passive splitting means passive splitting means during the payment accounting entry postings during the payment accounting entry postings during the payment accounting entry posting not required to specify the parameters not required to specify the parameters all the parameters all the parameters update automatically example business area profit center and segment during the payment accounting entry posting not required to specify the parameters full stop all the parameters will update automatically example business area profit center and segment
the next one next one everyone please note it down next one zero balance clearing up zero balance splitting zero balance splitting zero balance splitting note it down when the debit parameters when the debit parameters is not equal to credit parameters when the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameters not equal to credit parameters that time that time zero balance clearing account zero balance clearing account zero balance clearing account will involved automatically zero balance clearing account is involved automatically sir can you please repeat that if you don't mind your mic is not good huh? yeah, yeah yeah zero balance clearing account means i mean zero balance splitting means my year my intention is zero balance splitting zero balance splitting means when the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameters that time zero balance clearing account will involved or update automatically that is my intention sir okay thank you. and example example can you please note it down this everyone example can you please note it down this example can you please note it down this can you please note it down this everyone example Done. Done, everyone. Okay. Huh? Done, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. <clears throat> so, everyone, my intention is very simple. Everyone, document splitting means to split the line item. document splitting means to split the line item we have three types of splittings active splitting passive splitting and zero balance splitting active splitting bole to the line item will going to split based on the standard configuration business area wise segment wise profit center wise blah 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 etc some more objectives will come later and passive splitting means during the payment accounting entry postings not required to specified any parameters 
ऑल द पैरामीटर्स विल अपडेट ऑटोमेटिकली पैरामीटर्स बोले तो बिजनेस एरिया प्रॉफिट सेंटर सेगमेंट विल अपडेट ऑटोमेटिकली नेक्स्ट जीरो बैलेंस स्प्लिटिंग बोले तो व्हाट इज मीन बाय जीरो बैलेंस स्प्लिटिंग व्हाट इज मीन बाय जीरो बैलेंस स्प्लिटिंग जीरो बैलेंस स्प्लिटिंग मींस व्हेन द डेबिट पैरामीटर इज नॉट इक्वल टू क्रेडिट पैरामीटर्स any parameters may be business area may be profit center may be segment when the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameters that time zero balance clearing account will be involved or update automatically so during the accounting entry posting each and every splitting we are going to test it is working fine or not we are going to test how the values will coming from where it is coming i will show you each and everything so for this purpose for this purpose active splitting purpose passive splitting purpose zero balance splitting purpose for this purpose what configuration is required what configuration is required everyone this is the configuration is required everyone go up this is the configuration is required <coughs> so this is six six steps configuration is required six steps configuration is required one is classify gl account for document splitting classify document type for document splitting then define zero balance clearing account and define document splitting characteristics for the general ledger accounting then define document splittings for controlling then finally activate document splitting better can you please note it down these steps everyone note it down these steps 1 2 3 4 5 6 steps you can note it down steps so this is the configuration is required for uh, you know for active splitting passive splitting and zero balance splitting if you configure this during the accounting entry posting accounting entry will going to split active splitting passive splitting and zero balance split like now you can do the configuration now you try to understand what is meaning by that during the accounting entry posting i will show you how the data will going to reflect first you can just you can note it down steps everyone not required path path is same path for all done everyone noted just you no, can just note it down steps that's it guys once completed please respond i will start for configuration done sir done am very good ma'am sir very good very good so everyone 
now my target can anyone please read the note remaining people please check it out just one minute you can read who can read anyone please no one not interested to read no no let it be yeah thank it the complete concept of these types or classify gl accounts for a document splitting classify document types for document splitting define zero balance clearing account define document splitting characteristics for general no no not, not lead not this not this okay. i am asking note what you noted what is meant by document splitting types of document splittings then like like that no time yeah what is document <coughs> accounting entry posting as per the uh, finance accounting entry posting and types of document splitting first one active splitting second passive splitting third zero balance splitting Active splitting means based on the standard configuration line item is going to split business area wise, profit center wise, and segment wise. Passive splitting. Passive passive splitting means during the payment accounting entry posting, not required to specify the parameters. All the parameters updated automatically. Example: business area, profit center, and segment. Zero balance splitting. when the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameters that time zero balance clearing account will involve automatically very good very good appreciate venkat uh, i can ask one question can anyone tell me what is meant by document splitting just note what document splitting just note document splitting means accounting entry nahi splitting the line items ah that's it document splitting means to split the line item to split the line item what is meant by line item line item is one part of accounting entry we have two parts in the accounting entry header data and line item data document splitting means to split the line item for what purpose business reporting purpose business reporting purpose client requirement reporting purpose the client want to generate the reports business area wise segment wise profit center wise some more parameters will come later blah 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 xy z wise okay so same thing you can tell the interview then interview anyone any doubts before going to configuration uh, can you just show the flow chart um, yeah the initial one which you draw huh you not noted is sir uh on um, the first part i missed this one yes right yeah okay got it right thank you mm -hmm. yeah no doubt sir let it be let's start the configuration let's start the configuration very 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 important everyone very very important my dear students classify gl account for document splitting first one is called guys here 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 and uh, uh swarna joined uh, swarna joined uh. swarna are you there swarna she is not there uh. okay <coughs> here yeah, everyone concentrate here everyone concentrate here i will tell you one thing everyone uh classify gl account for document splitting means everyone in the global parameters in the global parameters uh i will tell you one thing in the global parameters we created accounts groups we created accounts groups example this is the accounts group we created share capital reserves and surplus secure loan non secure loan sundry creditors and uh, sundry debitors cash and bank we created this accounts group i will ask one question please respond my dear students please respond 
so share capital comes under balance sheet or uh, profit and loss account balance sheet balance sheet balance sheet balance very good this example inventory inventory is an a liability or asset 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 example sundry debitors sundry debitors bole to uh, asset vendors or customer customers customers customers, customers. and uh, example example let it be sales revenue is this income or expenses income income income, income. income. and uh, one more thing is example sundry creditor bole to vendor or customer vendors 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 but you know very well you people know very well but how the system will knows now system want to understand na system want to understand okay you created example sundry creditor you created this number to this number what is this is this vendor or customer you people know is this vendor or customer then how the system will understand then you need to give some inputs this is sundry creditor is vendor sundry debitor is customer this is the expenses this is the incomes you need to give the like instructions to the system you need to give the instruction to the system then only system will understand then only system go on mute everyone please go on mute example during the gl creation time also we will select it is comes under profit and loss account or balance sheet during the gl creation time also we will select but in the document splitting also we need to specify it is comes under what example everyone concentrated everyone it's a very 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 important step everyone in the document splitting we need to guide the system which accounts group is what which account group is what okay very simple everyone very easy easy okay <laughs> so this is the path everyone so classify gl account for document splitting this is the path sprgo financial accounting new general ledger accounting new business transaction document splitting classify gl account for document splitting classify gl account for document splitting so this is the uh, anyway. this is the path let it be let's go to the path and uh, slash n go back slash n is the back actually now i'm using now i'm in home page sap easy access screen go to sprgo enter sap reference img and uh, select your uh, financial accounting new anyone tell me tell me the path general ledger accounting new no one observed the business transaction business transaction document splitting this one classify gl account for document splitting everyone concentrate here everyone concentrate here you just double click on this execute button you just come to this path everyone come to this path financial accounting new general ledger accounting new business transaction document splitting classify gl account for document splitting classify gl account for document splitting this is the path everyone Ah, uh, why three vendors are there? Who is he? One more. Yes, sir. Huh? Yeah. Any vendor? We have only two vendors is required. 
one more venkat is joined who is he join in lab system and immediately you can uh, immediately you can sign out one device you need to join only one device please immediately you can sign out one device please okay. <clears throat> everyone concentrate everyone so this is the path everyone this is the path and in case if you want to t code go to additional information additional information display keys and img activities <clears throat> everyone you just double click on this execute button you just double click on this execute button and give it here your chart of accounts then click on your okay and click on your new entry how oh, what is your chart of accounts it's not your name pm oc it is pm it's a pm oc click on your okay then click on your new entry now everyone everyone so example example everyone first one i'm taking example i'm going to accounts group example everyone share mark share capital from this number to this number example share capital is this number to this number share capital is this number to this number one second everyone guys uh, please check your internets and your networks before the class okay please uh, students please cooperate with me don't disturb in between <coughs> everyone concentrate everyone from this number to this number example i am copying from this number to hari krishna this number to this number so everyone i can ask one question everyone now please respond share capital is a liability or asset asset sir liability 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 madam <laughs> it's a liability madam actually share capital is a liability okay so click on your browse everyone category category you click on browse let's click on your browse everyone example customer is there vendor is there cash account is there asset is there expenses is there revenue is there example liability is not there liability is not there do one thing you, there is specific object, specific category is not there for the liability that is the reason you can select balance sheet account balance sheet account nothing but liability comes under liability okay liability is part of balance sheet so select here balance sheet why because liability is not there example asset is there okay you can select the balance sheet no problem it's comes under i mean liability is part of balance sheet enter the same way example example reserves and surplus reserves and surplus and uh, secured loan and unsecured loan reserves and surplus and uh, from this number to this number and from this number to this number so here you want to select example balance sheet press enter the next one so this things is completed up to this the next one sundry creditor sundry creditor this number to this number sundry creditor this number to this number so sundry creditor bole to specific uh, category is there is this as, uh, vendor or customer vendor vendor you can select the vendor press enter 
the next one this one also completed the next one tax payable is a liability and current liability also liability so select this number to this number to this number this number to this number you can select here balance it nothing but liabilities okay this is that done next is the asset example fixed asset is the asset inventory is the asset okay uh inventory as a asset from this number to this number same number range i maintain in the accounts group in the sap and this is called uh, actually asset this is called asset the next one this two done is done and cash and bank cash and bank also comes under asset but there is a specific category is there for the cash and bank is specific category is there from this number to this number there is a specific category so you can select that category is in even it is you can select asset also no problem but there is a specific category is there uh, cash account you can select this the one more the one more is called sundry debitors now you can tell me everyone Unknown Hare caller. Krishna hello you are in the Sir, I am in a class, my dear friend. Can you? I will call you back. Please, ah, huh? please. Sorry, everyone. I am very sorry. So, sundry debitors comes under uh, customers. Customer. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Customers. So, this number to this number. This number to this number. It's a customer section. Mm, there is where is customer here customer present and uh, one more this one also done and uh, tax receivable is asset and uh, current asset also asset miscellaneous expenses right of also it's asset so these three things asset action this number to this number it's an asset why why you are giving this means system want to understand what it is system want to understand you every you people knows what is mean by that but even system want to understand system behave like a robo you need to give the instruction what is this Okay. The next one, uh, sales revenue, income, other income, increasing, decreasing stock. This is an income section. This is an incomes. Go down. Go down. It's an incomes. So here you want to select this. Mm, where is the income? Income will be the revenue. Okay. Enter revenue. 
then remaining things is the expenses remaining things is the expenses Now, everyone, time to ask the doubts. Anyone? Any doubts? Your voice is not clear, no. uh, Ajish. One minute. Yeah. Yes. Any others? Any others? Yes. Uh, hello. Everyone, are able to hear Rajesh voice? Hello. Uh, Rajesh ji, bolie. Yes, sir. Yes, tell me, sir. Uh, Rajesh, you can you can call me later. Go on mute and call me later. You can type in the chat. Uh, so that we can see. No, no, you can call me later, Rajesh. Next, next question. Okay. Next, any others? Uh, hi. Uh, tell me, Sajid. In SAP, uh, the category that we have selected, uh, we can add our additional category which is not existing or uh, we can we can only select from In case, in case if you want to add, add, but not required. In case option is yes, if you want to add, add, but not required. Okay. Yeah. Next. Yeah. Next one. No doubts. Let's start with next step. Next step. <coughs> Everyone. The next step is classify the document type for the document splitting. Classify the document type for the document splitting. So what is meant by document type? Why document type? What is the purpose of document type? Everyone some more discussions. What is meant by document type? Why document type? What is the purpose of document type? maybe it will come after uh, two days after two days here we will discuss document types and number ranges here we will discuss okay for now now here this is the standard step actually this is the standard step here you are not required to change anything just go and look into that screen try to understand document type what is mean by document type? Why document type? What is the purpose of document type? How to configure the document type? Everything will come maybe after two days. In the document splitting here, this is the standard step. You are not required to change anything here. Just go and look into that. How look like this is on a standard. Okay. Uh, example classify document type for the document splitting. You just double click on this and uh, see here example asset postings and uh, uh, there is a customer invoice posting and uh, customer payment posting and uh, different different things all the transactions is available and vendor payment vendor invoice goods receipt goods issue goods receipt so everything is available okay example gl accounting entry posting 
so here we maintain everything is a standard okay everything is a standard 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 like that okay so here you are not required to change anything just go and look into this screen okay not required to change anything here for more discussions will come later the next one next one the very very important one define zero balance clearing account define zero balance clearing account everyone zero balance clearing account when it will be reflected everyone concentrated everyone when it will be reflected means when the debit parameters when the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameters that time zero balance clearing account will be involved automatically zero balance clearing account will be involved automatically if it if it is want to reflected automatically you want to do the configuration first what you want to do first you want to create zero balance clearing account what is the t code fs00 zero balance clearing account comes under current liability then you need to map you need to map that uh, zero balance clearing account if you map then it will be reflected automatically during the accounting entry posting when the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameters note it on one note everyone note it on one note for more clarification note it on note note it down the note during the accounting entry postings during the accounting entry posting note it down clearly clearly note it down. during the accounting entry posting when the debit parameters is not equal to credit parameters again you can note it down no problem clearly note it down i can add on some more points when the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameters zero balance clearing account will or can whatever zero balance clearing account can update automatically for that purpose which purpose it will be reflected automatically na for that purpose step 1 1 step 1 create the gl accounts create the zero balance clearing account comes under current liability step 1 create the zero balance clearing account comes under current liability t code fs00 t code fs00 T code F S double zero. Next is step two. Step two. We need to map. We need to map zero balance clearing account. We need to map zero balance clearing account. In the bracket, define zero balance clearing account. 
where you need to map means here define zero balance clearing account here we need to map in this path okay next line note it down mapping we need to map the zero balance clearing account action next line note it down next line note it down if you do about two activities one is creation and one is mapping if you do about two activities if you do about two, two activities during the accounting entry parameters sorry during the accounting entry postings during the accounting entry postings when the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameters that time zero balance clearing account will be involved automatically very important everyone why i am telling again and again and again and means it's entire question actually everyone can anyone please read the note anyone please anyone please read the note let's sign out the class we will meet tomorrow i'll repeat uh, okay. ah, read anyone what happened guys during the account what my dear friends <laughs> maybe they are right bank at please bank at please ha huh? during the accounting entry posting the debit parameter your voice is not clear my dear friend well we read out okay huh. yeah during the accounting entry postings when the debit parameters are not equal to credit parameters zero balance clearing account gets updated automatically for this purpose two steps need to be done step 1 create gl zero balance clearing account which comes under current liability and t code is fs00 step 2 we need to map this zero balance clearing account uh, that is uh, define zero balance clearing account uh, the above two steps are required uh, during the accounting entry postings when the debit parameters are not equal to credit parameters it will reflected automatically yeah, yeah and uh, to be reflected automatically yeah thank you sir thank you for reading guys if you read in case of any points is missing i will tell that is why i am telling to read note means if you read other people also can you verify then in case any point is missing then i will tell you that is my intention otherwise <laughs> not required to read everyone please please try please call okay so everyone next one uh, let it be uh, let's create the otherwise uh, let it be let's see tomorrow otherwise okay why it's time out now maybe let it be so remaining configurations we will see tomorrow next class okay we have class tomorrow and uh, no, no tomorrow it's monday madam tomorrow bole to monday tomorrow holiday okay 
so everyone thank anyone any doubts before going to sign out any doubts uh, i think we are clear clear sir okay so these three steps configuration we'll see monday sir then after this very very important class after this very very important class parallel accounting after this three steps configuration very very important class is uh, like parallel accounting guys before going to sign out i will ask one question what is meant by ias ias bole to ias indian accounting standard very good who is he saurav very good my dear friend appreciate indian accounting standards um uh, ifrs bole to ifrs ifrs financial reporting standards international financial reporting ah, standard very good very good who is he saurav again saurav very good and uh, ah, 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 sorry and uh, no, no, that that, that wasn't, wasn't me actually <laughs> sorry <laughs> Uh, anyway good good anyway good and uh, one more uh, maybe i i did not hear your word any anything you want to say nothing huh? okay uh the next one what is meant by gap gap bole to generally accepted accounting principles generally accepted accounting principle uh maybe here we discuss as a us gap actually us gap indian gap whatever gap okay so this type of things we'll going to cover in the parallel accounting and leading ledgers non leading ledgers ias ifrs us gaps uh, see if you post any finally why we are doing this configuration global parameters new gl concepts especially document splittings parallel accounting document types why we are doing this configuration means end of the day once if you post accounting entries each and every configuration we want to verify all the things updating properly or not okay so that is our intention that level you people want to understand the of during the accounting entry posting you people can understand you pe- you also practice and verify on which field updating from which configuration that level you need to understand you need to understand that level and in the reports if i generate the reports which column or which row coming from where how it can be reflected that level you people want to understand then only you can sustain okay yeah then only you can get the job easily okay Thanks everyone. Bye. Let's Bye. meet Monday. Happy weekend. Thank you, sir. Same to you. Bye, sir. Bye.